welcome back to my channel this morning's live today you guys are gonna go along with us as we do our grocery shopping for the week I know it's been a while since I posted a video but we're still on our debt-free journey we fell off a little bit but we are back on it so today um, I've been working nights lately and my husband's been doing groceries so today I decided I was gonna follow along with him and see how he spends a hundred dollars that's our budget every week for groceries a hundred bucks what we do before we leave is we take inventory of what we have in the fridge and the pantry before we go to the grocery store because you never know what you have until you know and so let's follow along with him and see how he does on his hundred dollar budget for the week I guess the biggest difference between Mark and I when we grocery shop is that Mark doesn't use a paper list. I have to put it in my notes app or on a piece of paper because if I don't, your girl is picking up everything in the store that has nothing to do with anything that we need for the week. Um, I could stay virtually on track, I guess, but sometimes I get sidetracked, so a list helps me. But in Mark's method, Mark only needs what's in his head and the plan he has for the, the kids for the week. I guess it also helps that his meals are simpler. He does quick, easy meals, and I tend to like to be extra doing like lasagnas, pastas, and stuff like that. He does those too, but it's like one, which his specialty is chicken alfredo. It is so good. He does it with like these noodles and these chicken thighs. But as you can see, there's a running total as we spend. Canned vegetables, guys, look, I know everyone loves them fresh, but when you're on a budget, they're just as good. What are you making? Chicken Alfredo for lunch. And chicken for quesadillas. Aldi is hands down my favorite place to start my grocery shopping. Because of the prices and the savings, even though the items aren't name brand, they still taste just as good. And I get to get more of it so that it lasts longer. Like you can see Mark is taking like four cartons of eggs. That's because it's $1.22 at Aldi. All of these meals are budget friendly, simple and quick. Our kids could make them if they needed to. And that's what we try to stick to so that our budget stays within the parameters. We don't need any more broccoli. Guys, remember the key to staying within budget is taking inventory of your pantry and building meals on what you have left. Our kids unloaded the groceries all at the back instead of the front, which annoyed the cashier, but look at that. We stayed in budget, $90.32. Next stop, Walmart. We go to Walmart when we can't find the items that we want at Aldi. So we went to Walmart for creamer and juice, and we spent $7 and some change, which brings our grand total to about $97.61. We did it!